I set fire to the rain. Um, not my words. Uh, words of a famous artist. Uh, so this Nish is Panasa. Yeah, Nish Panasa. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you nailed it right on the head. This is obviously uh, about Nish Panasa. Now I need to clarify here before Ash starts talking. I need to clarify. Digital Spies only picking this up from the sun. The sun. Okay. So again, if we get this wrong, it's not our fault. Not Digital Spies' fault. It's the sun. Because there's three things that is guaranteed in life. Death, tax, and the sun lying. And basically going, so you see, Katie Perry's I mean, the sun, way. the sun does it sometimes. Like, they did announce the Cindy return. It's yeah. just... Yeah, no, I just you don't... You know, they probably would have been better if they didn't. But, uh... I just don't like tabloids. Still a good return anyways. And even then, I like what you started saying. All right, I'll say this before Ash start, starts fucking talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm introing this video. But yeah, so Nish has been on the show since, what, late 2022. He showed up as the estranged husband of Suki Panasa and proceeded to worm his way back into their life and started to um, abuse her like he always had and he probably always would had he not have gotten away with it. This also kicked off with a big love storyline between Suki and Eve, as e as Suki finally realized that she's a lesbian and you know Eve is her true love. Um, this obviously this culminated with uh, Kirat's exit, culminated with the introduction of. Well, it also had Ravi kind of like tempering the storm as he was a announced as Nish's son, and through time it led to the dramatic scenes where Nish tried to kill Eve and then stumbled into the Queen Vic had his hair pulled and got smashed over the head with a bottle, which was what we thought was going to be that Christmas exit. And everybody thought that, that Nish was going to die at Christmas for the most part. Let's be honest, most people were predicting it. There was some small uptakes for uh, Jack Branning um, and some even smaller uptakes for Keanu Taylor because we all fell for the paparazzi picture. We all fell for that stage photo, except for Piggy's dad. But I mean, this is now going to culminate. He is wrapping up his time on the show, and it will culminate in a big fiery explosion in autumn. And as we say autumn, it's not December, so this will likely culminate, I'd argue, October, perhaps, like the Halloween, a big Halloween stunt. Um, And yeah. It's what people thought Vinny was going to be done because it felt like last year, I think it was last year, right, where everybody thought the Bridge Street Cafe would have been where Nish had set it on fire and I was predicting that Vinny was going to die. I mean, I just wanted a little call back to the OG watching Wild for Viewers. I remember someone calling Vinny Scrappy Doo. Fun times, fun times. Is that, uh, wasn't that me? Yeah, that was you, not me. Yeah, it was you. Yeah, sound. Uh, fun times. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I make I make everything good. You know what I mean? For, oh. Who started um, this channel? Who started it, Vicky? No, you're fucking. Somebody wrong. slapped their ass, and it's not me. Um, but yeah, uh, just to fully wrap it around, let's now read the article. But yeah, a big fiery stunt likely to be expected. I think wasn't the last fire. Well, no, no. The last fight was the Bridge Street Cafe, and the one before that was the one with Janine, where she saved Scarlett and Tommy and had to climb out the window. So it's been a while. It's not been too long, because there was a October stunt last year, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> November. November. There we are. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, do you want to read the article, or do I want to read the article? Up to you. Who, who, who wants to read it? Uh, start reading. EastEnders is set to air a dramatic new storyline that will shake things up on Hollywood Square. As the soap approaches 40th anniversary, The Sun, again The Sun, uh, reports <laughs> a fire uh, will devastate the lives of, Walford, of the Walford residents. Uh, the Square has seen its fair share of infernos over the years from explosions to arson, including the Queen Vic fire in 2010, which saw the le legendary landlady. Land, 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 land lady Peggy Mitchell fight to save Lole, Lole, Lole. <laughs> lole, Lole, Lole. Uh, land lady, Land lady. <laughs> Save her beloved pub. Get out of my pub. Um, it's currently un unclear whether the upcoming place will take place or who will be affected by the incident. 
The whole community could be of risk of danger and maybe even death. One character has been tipped to exit the show as Nish Panacea. From what they're saying, tipped, it's definitely confirmed that he's leaving at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody, it's... It... I've heard rumours. Everybody's heard rumours. It's happening. It's got, It's come. It may not be confirmed, but it's confirmed. It's it's like it's like it's like an old three when you're watching those fucking like um those teaser trailers. It's like you won't believe who's returning, and it's like we all know it's Dan, but it's like you won't believe it. You won't believe it. And he... Hello, princess. You won't believe who's returning. <laughs> like all those articles. You would not believe how different this person looks 20 years on. And 20 years ago, they were a child. <laughs> like, you, won't yeah, believe, sound. you won't believe how fat this bitch got. <laughs> <laughs> the sun. Cheers, son. <laughs> Cheers, the son. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just, yeah. Um, the film was introduced to Senate in 2022. The villain, yeah. And has ruled over his, his businesses and family with an iron fist. Nish has recently was recently at the center of the sixth storyline, but survived the Christmas episode. However, he later returned to the square, announcing that he was dying. Though his exit hasn't been confirmed, Chowdhury revealed that he is really excited. Was really excited when he found out his character's fate. Speaking about Nish's illness, the actor told the Daily Spy, Digital Spy, not the Daily Spy, he has spent most of his time since since he's been back, causing hell for everyone, and he's suddenly been dealt with the harshest card. For him to cope with that and then react in the way he, he needs to try and still be on top and still win. It's just a really interesting dynamic that I don't think anyone saw coming. East Enders airs on Monday to Thursday at 7.30pm on BBC One and RTE One. The show will also stream on BBC Hour Player with most episodes drop early at 6am ahead of a TV broadcast. There you go. I don't know why you read that last bit. Just, just, just in case people don't know where East Enders airs. Just in case. Make people know when we air. They of course, they know when EastEnders airs. Um, and also, the other article said something to the effect of Vinny and Suki have been working together to reclaim their empire since Nish announced his illness, though Nish eventually discovered their scheme. Although he's been plotting his revenge, he Nish will surprisingly put his plans on hold in the scenes airing next week and instead make a big gesture towards Vinny. But is he being genuine? Um, this also said... Something. It's basically he. Yeah, he is scorned. He will. I mean, let's be honest. Nish will fucking try to ruin Vinny's life. But as just Vinny, like because Sucky and Vinny have been skimming against him, he's gonna make them fucking pay. And there's no doubt about it. And we have seen. You know, this may be some spoilers. We have seen in some pictures that the Minute Mart was boarded up for a time. Um, so it would make sense if that was where the fire took place. And we've seen that I'm pretty sure the Minute Mart has been refurbished. And it's back to the colours that it was when Patrick and Yolande had it. Um, which is interesting. Like, I think it's gone back to like a nice like green I don't remember what the colour is now. I, honestly, I don't give a shit about the Minute Mart. I'll be real here. <laughs> well, obviously, read that of when we get to the Christmas stuff. Uh, we will be doing a Christmas video on the set, like we do every year of watching Walford. So be prepared. Get a little sprinkle in your tinkle with Christmas. Be the second video. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and now ready? let's see what people think. Yeah, so this is red. We oh, talk. the Minute Mart's blue. It's blue. It's a blue Minute Mart. Oh. Uh, Law. We, we called it Rip Blue Minute Man, but now in child we the trees, living, uh, uh, leaving after two years as a businessman. Is Panasar Panasar? He's also a fucking domestic abuser and villain. But yeah, sure, just call him a businessman. I, just, <laughs> I, I, I love it. Yeah, just businessman. I'm a businessman a day, but you know what I am at night? A fucking abuser. Fucking take right. that woman. Um. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, the sun. Jesus. Jesus. For fuck's sake. <laughs> well, I mean, they usually cover up nonsense and shit, so it's, it's all in fair due. So. Um, yep, Albert, keep rolling. Albert Square will also see a fire. Uh, only issue I have with the Minimal theory is that it's even smaller than the cafe, so unless you just handcuffs Finney or whoever to the pipe in the store, I don't see much scope for major drama. From any point within the Minimal, if I run through flames to get outside and only have to worry about a, a single eyebrows, unless you're wearing a shell suit, obviously. Um, 
Then again, they did manage to cough the next uh, cafe fire rock for the most part. And it's more convenient logistically than fire bombing Sucky's house. But, hilar- but be hilarious but after all the speculation. This false, uh, supposed fire once again has absolutely nothing to do with the panel service. And so, uh, it turns out Bobby just wanted to do a do over and gets caught in a fire at Beale's Heels. Huh? Yeah, um, I mean, I sp- if we're predicting this, if we just want to theorize what 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 we think might happen. I think the minute mark will be set on fire, and I do think that Vinny will probably be locked in there. Um, and I do think Vinny will die. I think it's only a matter of time before the character gets killed off, because he's so fucking useless. He does nothing. He does absolutely nothing. They even gave him a little storyline where it's like, oh, he's going to be like Nish 2.0. Ah, never mind. He's actually sound again. Like, he's so useless. But also, wasn't it supposed to be, wasn't there supposed to be a fire in the Panasar GP? Like, back in, back when you had like Nina Gupta and Ravi and they were scheming to take down his dad. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a fire then as well, but it never happened. So Nina, I think it was Nina, just left. Um, so yeah, I think that, I think that, I don't know, is, would Nish just fucking walk back into the fire? Like, I feel like Nish would like, I feel like Nish would try to paint himself in the most glory possible by like saving all these people and then just fucking go, you you know that clip where the girl's like crying on stage, she's like crying and and then hits the fucking, and then like disappears. That's Nish just in the fire. Oh, bloody hell, I've saved everyone. See ya. See I'm just, ya. <laughs> just, you know that, uh, I think it's Jake Gyllenhaal, you know that clip where he's obviously walking off stage and he just disappears into the fog. Just like, and he just walks yeah. off into it. I'm just imagining this doing that. Like, See ya, lads. Oh, well, like, because my, my theory was that he was going to... I thought he was going to try and implicate Suki... He was trying to implicate Suki or Vinny in his death, which I think still could happen in the same way. It still could happen because he could make it look like Vinny set a fire and implicate him because I feel like that's a part of his plan. But what do you reckon? What do you, how do you reckon this goes? Uh, I, I don't... I, uh, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot here. Um, look, you've had, a, you've had a couple of minutes. Uh, how do I predict this? I feel like, yeah, there will be a... Hopefully there will be a fire. I just love that every... Hot I mean, there will be a fire. That That's that's understood. I just love how every fucking, like, year, it's like, you won't believe what's going on fire this year in fucking Alpha Square. Get better fire brigades, lads. Get better fucking fire. Like, get better housing. Not in America. Your houses don't go up in the middle of a flame. Um, But in the fire, yeah, it's either going to be in the Queen Vic. Or in the minute mark is is my speculation. I'd love. I'd um. I know it wouldn't be funny, but I'd love if the if fucking the cafe went on fire again. Just fucking would be funny. I just give up at that point. Like imagine every year, like Kathy gets back to the business, and then for the next five years, it just goes up on fire again and again and again. And by the fifth year, Kathy's like, oh for fuck's sake, ah fuck. I I I I do it. I, it would it would cost so much, but I just do it for fun. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess I'll read on from what Brennan has to say. We had our fun. Oh, oh wait. I suppose. Wait. First, how how long has the video been so far? Fourteen minutes. Okay. Just to wrap it back round though. Are we sad about Nish leaving? Yes. I think it's a more interesting topic. I think yeah. The answer is obviously yes. He's. <sighs> He's played really well. The actor is fantastic. Navin Chowdhury is great. He manages to play the fucking, like, double-barreled, where the one barrel is him telling you to fuck off, and the other one is, like, patting you on the back. Just like, oh, yeah, yeah. I I didn't mean it, you know. I didn't fucking mean it. And he's, like, fucking... Like, he's a very nuanced villain, because, yes, he does have... He is abusive, and he is controlling. But man. he's also managed to make all of us root for him like a motherfucker most of the time. Um, and we've all been on a ride with a character. And the only, <laughs> the only reason why I am, I am sad for his exit, and the, un- and the main reason I 
or was arguing that he shouldn't have been the body on the floor at Christmas, it's because there was so much more mileage with the character. And this year has proved that there was a shit ton more to go in Nishpanasa. A part of me wishes that he wouldn't die, but if he is actually... If he is, excuse me, if he is actually dying, there's no way to get around it. But a part of me would love for the door to be left open in the future. But I, I don't really think that's much of an option. Sorry, I just very quickly... I just want to read what Alison Historian said. Just, I will miss Nav very much. That's all her feelings. Uh, yeah, anything to add on to what I said? No, 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 I just wanted to read that. So, uh, but yeah. Fair it, enough, keep going. Uh, I, I hope the door is left open for him. It won't be, but if I ever... Yeah, like... <sighs> he's such a co- he's such a good character that you would love to see more but the amount of impact he's had in what like what one and a half years just below two years roughly is a full credit to the writing and the character and the actor so i i like the one thing i really wish is i know i wouldn't be successful because it's such a niche but imagine they did a comic con but it's only for soaps like, you get to meet all the fucking soap icons, like, of this year. So, like, Avon Chowdhury, fucking... I mean, don't, I mean, don't people just do that in the NTAs of the soap awards? I mean, yeah, but you, you don't have to go up to them and they're in a suit going, here, here, give me an autograph. But, yeah. Yeah. It'd be sad when he leaves. And do you, will we end this video now? It's 16 minutes. Uh, let's just see if there's any other interesting comments going on. Uh, <laughs> Which one? This one. And he comes back in a sort of Freddy Krueger way where he tries to get back people he thinks did him wrong in their dreams. Fucking banger. <laughs> Him and Keanu haunting people. Fucking great. Anything else in this thread, or is it more of the same? I was expecting a bit more like outcry from it. Uh, nah, not really. <laughs> not really. With all that said, though, it is a sad time because he is a very good character. Like I said, if it, I genuinely believe, if he was written in a different part of the show. He probably would have been the equivalent to Gray Atkins, but because the actor's fantastic and the direction was much more nuanced than that, he became a much more one a month one dimensional he became a much more three dimensional character, and that allowed the character to both be hated and loved at the same time. I feel like most of us as EastEnders fans will be sad to see him go. But you know, we've had a good two years. I don't think he was ever going to be a permanent character. You, sometimes you can't make these villains stick. But let's hope at some point in the future, there is a possible chance that he comes back. But let's just argue that there's a 999% chance that he dies in the fire or leaves due to his part in starting it. But yes, with all that said, that has been the video. Thank you for watching. Join us in the next one. See you then. Bye-bye.